Hi, I'm Mark. I'm Tracy. I'm Kayla. I'm Raz. I'm a two. And we are the Lane family, and we are excited about what do you like about Christmas kids? I like hearing the Christmas story. I like the lights and decorations. The cookie! <laughs> I like those things too. There are so many things to like about Christmas. What do you like about Christmas the most? I like so bring Jesus. Me too! Me too! You know what I like the most? Singing songs about Jesus. Yeah! yeah. Let's sing one right now. Friends, let's stand up. Let's sing a Christmas song to God! Yeah! yeah. Guys, are you guys ready to sing and dance? We're gonna have some fun singing out this song, so let me see you bouncing around. This song is all about how happy we are that Jesus came on Christmas. We have joy in our hearts because of that. So we're gonna sing, put it down deep in your heart, okay? Let's sing together. Joy! Sit down. Can we do some more Christmas things, please? I think it'll be so much fun to do some more Christmas things together. What about story time? Wait, wait, well, hold on. I know this is getting exciting. I would love to hear the Christmas story. But what do we have to do to hear the Christmas story? Well, first, we gotta put on our listening ears. Got mine on. And our thinking caps. Got mine on, too. Got mine on, too. I've got my listening ears and my thinking cap. I'm all set. Me, Friends, too. do you have yours on? Okay, I think we're all set. Yay! Let's watch our Bible story. The story of Christmas. Jesus is born. This is Mary. Hi! You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. And she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey, -o. Ooh, got it. Mary got pregnant by the power of God. Wait, huh? Joseph didn't understand all this at first, 
but an angel came and told him to still take Mary as his wife. Yeah, okay. So he did as the angel said. Not long after that, the ruler of the land, Caesar Augustus, wanted to count how many people were in the land. So Caesar Augustus ordered everyone in the land to travel back to their hometowns so that they could be counted. Joseph's hometown was Bethlehem, so Mary and Joseph traveled from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a place to stay. No, I'm sorry. Oh, man. But there was no room for them. Uh, what about her? Um, okay. So they stayed in a barn, and while they were there, Mary gave birth to Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> she wrapped him snugly in the strips of cloth. Uh, that'll work. And laid him in a manger. Excuse me. And so the Son of God, the Savior of the world, was born in a barn in Bethlehem. I love that story. I love hearing about how Jesus was born. Me, Me too. too. I love how the story talks about the good news of Jesus. It really does make us happy. Did you know that there's a Bible verse that talks about the good news of Christmas and how it brings us great joy? I didn't know that. Luke 2, 10, and 11. What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? Don't be afraid, for I bring the good news that brings great joy to all people. What's the good news? The Lord, the Savior, the Messiah, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, the city of David. I love that verse. Me too. Me too. I think we should learn it by singing it all together. Friends, let's stand up. And, and let's sing our Bible verse. All right, you guys, let's all ring our sleigh bells together. Can you ring them with me? We're going to sing Luke 2, 10 and 11 all together, OK? So now let's clap our hands. You ready? All right, you guys, now this song is from the Bible, and it is the words that the angel actually said to the shepherds on Christmas. So let's sing, Don't Be Afraid. Don't be afraid, I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. Don't be afraid, I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. Sing out the Savior. The Savior. Good news that will bring great joy. Let's sing together. Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. Let me hear you sing the Savior. The Savior. Good job singing that song. <laughs> Great job singing, guys. Okay, y'all can sit down. Oh, wait, I've got a surprise for you. My famous gingerbread cookie. <laughs> Christmas traditions are another special way you can celebrate Jesus. I think our friend Melly is learning about Christmas traditions too. Okay, so if we put on our listening ears, 
and our thinking caps. And let's go meet Melly and Gus for a special Melly Kaliki Maka. Let's, let's go! Hi, friends, and welcome to the Wildhood Treehouse. Melly Kaliki Maka! Happy it's Merry Christmas! We're wrapping Christmas presents. Yeah. Gus, I think it goes like this. Oh, uh, yeah, um, but you handle the scissors because I'm scared of the scissors. Okay, Gus. Hi, guys. Oh. Hi, friends. Hi, Mr. John. Melly Kaliki Maka. Merry Christmas to you. What are you guys up to? We're wrapping a present for Bog. Yeah. <laughs> we got him a new apron. Yeah. That is super cool. I wanted to stop by because we have a new letter that just came in. Already? Ooh, who's it from? Yeah. It's from a boy in Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Oh, where's that? Can we walk there? No, it's too far away to walk. Do you want to open the letter and see how our friend celebrates Christmas in Mexico? Yeah! Yes! Let's do it! Yes! Let's open the letter. Open it! Open it! Open it! Hola, Melingas. My name is Jared. I live in Mexico. I love Mexico, especially at Christmas time. When Christmas is getting close, we celebrate Las Posadas in our neighborhood. We all dress up and go from house to house to ask if there's any room in the inn. My big brother told me it's just like what Mary and Joseph did on the first Christmas. We'll sing songs and people say, no, there is no room. So we have to keep going to the next house until we find a room. But once we get to the house that has the posada party, they welcome us in and we have a big fiesta. There's a piñata filled with candy. We have tamales that are so yummy. There are even fireworks. I love Las Posadas and Christmas in Mexico. Feliz Navidad! Wow! I want to celebrate Las Posadas! Me too, but um, we'd have to go at nighttime and it'd be dark, so we'd oh. have to have lots of flashlights. It would be okay. Well, I think we can help with that. And could we get a piñata like they had at the Las Posadas party? Yes, I think that would be so much fun. Do you know what I love about Las Posadas? The tamales! Ooh, yummy! Yes, those sound yummy, but I also love that Las Posadas reminds us of the Christmas story. How? Well, we learned that we would go door to door and ask if there was room. You know, that's exactly what Mary and Joseph did. Oh, did they find room? Well, sort of. They had to stay in a barn. With animals? That sounds fun. I'd love to stay in a barn. Well, maybe it was a little fun. It definitely was an adventure for them, but that's the way it was supposed to happen, and Jesus was born there. Wow! Jesus was born in a barn? Yep, and you know what? Jesus was born to be our savior. What will he save me from? A, a stampede of antelopes? A, a, a dirty pile of socks? Jesus will always protect you. You can trust him to take care of you, Gus. Oh, phew! but he also saves us from something greater than those things. Well, what could be scarier than those things? Well, we all have sin. That means we think and do things that God doesn't like. Yeah, I know I do some bad stuff sometimes. And we should be punished for those sins. But Jesus takes that punishment for us, and Jesus was born on Christmas to be our Savior. Jesus is my Savior? And mine? He's your Savior, and your Savior, and your Savior. He loves everyone so much that he was born on Christmas so he could save us from our sins. Jesus is the best! He sure is. So when you think about the Christmas story and have so much fun on Christmas, remember that Jesus loves you and was born to be our savior. I can do that. Me too. Now let's go get a pinata. Oh, and let's go door to door and ask if there's room just like at Las Posadas. Yeah! <laughs> that sounds like fun. May I come along? Sure. Hey, how do they say Merry Christmas in Mexico? Feliz Navidad. <gasps> oh, let's all say that together. Yeah. Feliz Navidad. Bye. Bye. How do you say that? Meli Kaliki Maka. I love saying Merry Christmas in other languages and learning about some of the Christmas traditions from around the world. All of that reminds me of the Christmas story and the good news that Jesus came on Christmas because he loves us. He loves Every one of us? Yes, he loves you, <laughs> you, you, and you. And so do we. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas!